folks, welcome back to another Marvel Legends Finger Review. We've got The Amazing Spider-Man based on his appearance in the Spider-Man 1994 and Onward CB series. Um, this is the new sort of retro card one. I don't have the packaging anymore, but it is in the thumbnail, so you can identify which Spider-Man this is based on that and the title. It is the new sort of cell-shaded Spidey um, based on his sort of classic Spider-Man appearance. And uh, yeah, I really, really love this figure. Um... This is the first one of the sort of cell shaded ones. I know they've done a Venom, um, and they've done done a few of the X Men as well now. Um, but yeah, I'm really liking the look of this classic Spider Man. I just love the light blue, um, you know, the darker shades of sort of blue throughout that. And they haven't gone overboard with the sort of cell shading, which is basically this, you know, this um, you know, pretend shadow. Basically, it's sort of. Where, where shades and stuff would be thrown on the figure from a certain light source. Um, and they've painted them on, which looks good. I think it looks good. It's, yeah, definitely haven't overdone it. In terms of accessories, it does come with his two-fisted hands that you see. It does come with two wall-crawling hands and two thwippy hands, as most Spider-Mans do come with. Um, he also comes with a couple of webs. And this time, they're not sort of cast in a clear... They've been like a semi-translucent sort of colour, but this time they've been uh, cast in a in a white. Um, but I guess that's to go with the sort of comic look. Um, you know, you have white webs. There's this other sort of smaller one. Which, you know, you, I don't know what you're meant to do with them. I don't think they're not meant to sort of sit on the figure. You sort of just stick them on one of the villains or something. I don't know. Um, I haven't really gone that far as to use these at any point, so... That's okay. It's it's just a nice little packing. It's it's no nothing fancy, but it's cool. So yeah, love love the paint apps. Love the you know it looks really nice. The sort of just the way the web's been painted on it looks really good. All the colours are nice and bright and vibrant. Got the spider logo there on his chest. Another one on the back. Um, so he's using the same body mold as. The Symbiote Spider-Man, which came out sort of within the last six months. So yeah, having these two sort of stand side by side. And they are doing the Symbiote Spider-Man in the sort of cell shaded. So he'll come with some sort of real dark blues. Much like they did with the Venom. Which will be cool. Um, I am not probably won't worry about that one myself. Just because I've got the, the regular black suit spidey which is which is fine for me in my collection but um you know we've been very spoiled for spider-mans over the last sort of few months um with the amazing fantasy the toei spider-man the the japanese spider-man which i haven't got yet but it looks great um and the sort of few that have sort of come out in the retro line like ben riley and symbiote and we've just had uh iron spider and there's plenty <laughs> it's, it's it's a really good time to be a spider-man fan and this one probably takes the cherry for me. I think maybe just under the amazing, the amazing fantasy one. Um, but yeah, this is a really, really nice Spider-Man. So, of course, all the all the joints and stuff are sort of interchangeable. Um, I've tried some head swaps with the Peter Parker head from uh, the Renew Your Vow Spider-Man, and it works. All the hands are the, pretty much the same red. You know, Hasbro doesn't change the the red they use for Spider-Man, so that's all the same. Um, so all the hands are interchangeable. I've got them all in a big, big sort of stash in, in together in a toolbox. So um, it's not hard to find an extra hand if you wanted to do a photo with, you know, th thwippy hands or something like that. So it's a really, really nice Spider-Man. Got a good articulation, like I said. So that's butterfly joints. That's sort of upper torso joint there. Lower ab crunch. Doesn't have the toes like the uh, Renew Your Vows Spider-Man, but that's okay. Seems like the toe might be might the toe jointed one might be one that they use forward um, with, a, with figures in the future. Um, the recently announced Daredevil is going to have that sort of body mold, which is great. But yeah, this is an awesome Spidey. Yeah, it's a nice quick review to be able to show you this one. Um, pretty excited to have this one in my collection. Uh, long time coming. Wish I'd sort of picked up some of the more retro ones as they were sort of coming out, like Green Goblin, Venom Electro. Um, yeah, they're the ones I've missed, um, which I definitely would have loved to have gone back and gotten at some point, but um, it is what it is. Hopefully, they get a re release um, at some point. I doubt it, but 
If anyone's got some extras, hit me up. I wouldn't mind wouldn't mind adding into my collection. So yeah, really aesthetically pleasing this Spider-Man. He's just definitely like you've got a bit of a rogues gallery collection going on, which I'm trying to build up now. Um, this one looked perfect in the middle of them, especially for those retros. All right, folks, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate your time. Thanks for checking out Spidey, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.